Hey, this is Kendall Kirk. I'm the Precision Ag Engineer at Clemson University, and I'm going to take some time today to walk you through a fertigation calculator that we've recently developed for center pivot irrigation systems. So this is for if you intend on injecting liquid fertilizer through your center pivot. Uh, basically, what the calculator allows you to do is enter in some information for your formulation, enter in some information for your pivot, um, enter in some information for uh, your injection pump, and then it will tell you what setting to put your injection pump on and also output a schedule for you. So let's get right to it and walk through some of it here. You can find this uh, if you just search keywords, Clemson Center Pivot, Fertigation Calculator, uh, any search engine should pretty well bring you right to it. Uh, you've got the option to select from one of several nominal fertilizers that we've got plugged in here, or you can enter in your own custom fertilizer blend, uh, knowing the amount of nitrogen, phosphate, potash, and then any of several uh, micro elements that you, micronutrients that you may have in there. I'm gonna use a, a nominal fertilizer here. Uh, 25S is a common one that that some of our growers use. So that's 25% nitrogen and 3% sulfur. For each of these nominal products, we have an assumed density. Uh, your product may or may not match this density. I encourage you to look on the label and confirm that uh, it does match. If not, you just plug it in as a, as a custom fertilizer. At that point, you can put in your pivot name. So CP1 is what I'm gonna name this one. The reason why you might want this, obviously this isn't used for any calculation. You may want this value in place though so that you can uh, reference what system you were talking about or what system the report is for should you ask uh, our website to email you a report. And then you define your pivot size either using a wetted area or a wetted radius. This information should be inside your pivot control panel. Uh, if not, you can use our center pivot mapper uh, to, to measure these things using software, or you can physically go measure your system. Be sure within this to include the end gun radius as well uh, if you're going to have the end gun on while you're irrigating. I'm going to assume here that this is a thousand foot radius pivot inclusive of the end gun. And then Pivot rotation, uh, you can select either full half or quarter circle or any angle between zero and 360 degrees. To keep it simple here, I'm gonna go with a 300, a full circle pivot. Uh, you can see here it outputs the wetted area as a function of the radius we plugged in and then the circumference. And we'll maybe come to that later. The speed setting, again, this is not used in calculations at all. This would come back to you in your report so that should you want to go repeat the same application on the same pivot, you would know what settings you used for the information that goes in this pivot travel time area. So let's say I ran this system on 80% timer setting. So you just plug that in here. And then this is where you actually put in the timing. So you can input the time it takes for the pivot to travel, either is how long it takes to travel a full circle, how long it takes to travel between stops, uh, if it weren't a full circle pivot, or how long it takes to travel a certain distance, 50 and 100 feet at the end tower. I'm gonna go with full circle in this case. Uh, you can select different units to plug this in. Uh, and I'm gonna say it takes, I don't know, let's say six hours to make a full circle here. And so the software calculates automatically 12.02 acres per hour for us. Uh, by the way, uh, you can access this anywhere where you have internet access. So uh, be it on your cell phone, standing in the field next to your injection system, uh, laptop, tablet, desktop. Uh, it really doesn't matter. If you have a web browser, you can get to this website. Uh, at this point, we select the fertilizer rate uh, or, or enter in the information so it can be calculated. The first thing we have to do is say, okay, among the the nutrients that are in the liquid formulation that we're using, which one do I want to use to set the rate? So in this product, 25S, we have nitrogen and we have sulfur. So you select the one that you wish to be the, the controlling factor for rate selection. I'm gonna say nitrogen here, and I'm gonna say I'm putting out a 20 pound or 20 pound per acre shot of nitrogen in this case. 
Uh, once that's plugged in, it calculates how many gallons per acre of 25S need to go out. It calculates what is the nitrogen, well, this is what we plugged in, right? The nitrogen rate in pounds per acre. But then for any of the other nutrients that are in that formulation, it also outputs how many pounds per acre of those things are going out. Um, it takes this gallons per acre application rate of your formulation and puts it together with your field capacity of the center pivot to calculate gallons per hour of injection rate that you should have for that formulation. So in other words, how fast should you inject that liquid fertilizer into the center pivot system as it's traveling? Uh, in this case, it's telling us we need to inject it at 1.52 gallons per minute. We've given several equivalent rate expressions for that. So in other words, all of these measurements here, in fact, this whole section, all of these values are equal to one another. They're just expressed in different units for your convenience. Some pump manufacturers will uh, explain their calibration and setup in terms of gallons per minute, some in gallons per hour and some in ounces per minute. So that's why we have the first three there. Uh, most often, I think those are in gallons per hour pretty often. Uh, and then these last three that we have here is how long does it take to flow out a particular volume? Uh, so in other words, what length of time per one gallon, per five gallons, and then per 50 gallons. So you could use this to confirm or otherwise calibrate the settings on your injection pump, uh, just with a simple stopwatch and, and a five gallon bucket, for instance. Uh, they're telling us here for this entire application, this entire pivot to put 20 pounds out over the, the entire wetted area of this, of this pivot. The software tells us that we need 550 gallons or 548 gallons of 25S. Uh, next, we take it a step farther and we let you select the actual injection pump that you're using in your system. So one, any of several manufacturers, if you have a pump that's not on this list and you've got the information for it, please send it to us. I'll show you a link at the end uh, and we'll try to get it on this list for you. I'm gonna select a John Blue pump here and uh, you find your pump model on this list, plug it in. It should be printed on the nameplate for the pump. Once you've got your pump model plugged in, you roll down here and it's gonna tell you what setting, uh, according to the manufacturer literature, what setting to put that pump on. Uh, in this case, the factory standard configuration for that pump is uh, low range and duplex. And it tells us here that we can't turn the stroke setting up high enough in order to satisfy the flow rate that's required. So we have to change the configuration and all this should be in your pump manual. Uh, we have to change it to either high range simplex or high range duplex, uh, and then go with the pump settings that are suggested here. I still encourage you to check and make sure that these settings do establish the flow rate that you anticipate. That's a Pretty important thing for getting these rates right. The next thing you do is go in, if you wish, uh, to build a schedule. Uh, very simple here. You just plug in the start time. So let's say I'm going to start this pivot up, this fertigation application at 5.20 p.m. Uh, I plug in the angle, and this is an optional entry, the angle that the pivot's going to start at. I'll show you how it's used later. Uh, and then I specify as the pivot moving forward or reverse, forward being normally clockwise rotation and reverse being clockwise rotation. I can plug in my tank start level. Uh, I think oftentimes folks will have, you know, a thousand gallon nurse tank. I'm going to plug in uh, just to show you one of the features of the schedule. I'm going to plug in a 250 gallon tank. Now recall, we needed 548 gallons for this application. So if I plug in that I have a 250 gallon tank and then I set my schedule interval, this is just how often does it output a, a row on the schedule basically. So I'm gonna set it at the highest resolution, 15 minutes. And then as I roll down, I can see here we are, I've started my pivot up at 5.20 p.m. And then 15 minutes later, the pivot should be at a 15 degree angle if I started at zero and the tank level should have dropped to 227 gallons. So these two values together, the pivot angle and the pivot tank level, or excuse me, the injection pump tank level, 
those tell you whether or not you are performing as you anticipated to perform. It allows you to kind of keep tabs on the system and, and check in with it, make sure that the rate that you want to go out is going out, and, and it allows you to fix the problem uh, before you get too far into the field if something is off. And then remember, I put in a 250 gallon tank, uh, but that wasn't going to be enough fertilizer to, to cover this whole application. So what the schedule builder does for you is it highlights here any values where your tank level is in the negative. And so this allows you to be able to, for instance, go into your cell phone and maybe set an alarm so that you can go run out to the field and swap out tanks or refill tanks, whatever you have to do uh, at the point when you know you're gonna run out or come close to running out of, out of liquid fertilizer in that injection tank. Um, down at the bottom, we've got some links that you can set up. You just click the button here. It'll create the links for you. There's three different links. There's a, this application is fully configured. So when we click this, or if we save this link or text it to somebody, for instance, it's gonna load everything that we've plugged into this website exactly as we plugged it in here. If I copy this link or click it, it will be this pivot and this pump uh, but with the fertilizer formulation and rate set to be blank. So an example of where we might use this, say we've, we've got this particular pivot, this particular injection pump, but we're maybe later in the season and we're gonna put out a different fertilizer formulation, or we're gonna put out a different rate of this same fertilizer. And then finally, this last link is this product, this rate and this pump. So an example of where you might use this, uh, say you've got a farm with, 30 pivots and 30 pivots are all under cotton about the same growth stage. You wanna put 20 gallons of nitrogen on all of them and you're gonna use the same nurse tank or the same setup of a nurse tank. Uh, so that would be this product, this rate and this pump, but moving around to different pivots. And so that's why we provided that link there. Finally, you can plug in your email address. Uh, we don't store this email address. We don't do anything with it except pass this information on to you. Uh, so if you do plug in your email address, it allows you to email this to yourself. Uh, you can put in multiple email addresses too. You separate them by commas. Uh, so this would be if you wanna email this to somebody you're working with uh, or somebody that's working for you and you wanted them to have this information, you can in that way kind of control how it all gets uh, set up and keyed in uh, and then Maybe they're the ones that are gonna go check and make sure that the rates, that, that the pivot moved the right amount or the tank level is moving the right amount and, and call you if there's a problem. Click the I'm not a robot button and then email these to yourself. So you click email there and you should be able to go open your email. I'm gonna go check and see here. So here we are, my email came in. It was, it was less than a minute after I clicked that button. The email came in, um, you can see here uh, the, the general, kind of a, the, the general settings that we had here, kind of a summary of everything up top. Uh, those links that I showed you at the bottom of the website, they are here. So this application is fully configured. Um, and then those other two links are down at the bottom, I'll show you in a minute. But you see your injection pump settings are all there. It's, it's telling you even your schedule that you set up. It displays that on this email as well. And then those two links that I showed you on the other site, this pivot and pump, and then this product rate and pump, those are also included in the email. Um, if I flip back to the website, well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna click this product rate and pump to, to kind of show you that feature. I click there, I go back, I've got the product 25S, the pivot name is not there, the wetted radius is not there, right? So this is like, I've got a farm, I'm going out to 30 different systems and, and putting out, or, or five different systems and, and putting out the same product in the same rate using the same injection system, uh, but on different pivots. Um, and then as we come down here, you see it's still got our 20 pound rate plugged in. At the very bottom of the page, we have an opportunity here for you to click and email us. So I encourage you to do that. If, 
if there's something we can do to improve this to make it easier for you, you to use or to make it a better tool for you, uh, we would like to see if we can do that for you. Uh, or, or maybe it's something simple like you've got a, a, a fertilizer formulation that's not on our list and you'd like us to add it to the list. Please let us know and, and we'll see if we can make those things happen for, for you. I hope this is a useful tool to you. Uh, I hope you'll take some time to look around at some of our other calculators on our website as well. Thank you for your time.